Hey guys, what's up? This is JRP77 from JGN Games. I'm gonna be doing a tutorial on how to disable functions in Unity. So I thought that this would be pretty much a quick tip. I'm sorry that I don't have the final part of the BBA tutorial. I'm still working on that. Um, I've run into a problem, and it's looking like right now I'm only going to be able to texture the head because that is the one we color ID. But I might do a color ID map the exact same way as we did the head and just texture the entire thing. That's probably the most likely option, but you never know. Alright, so first of all, let's just go ahead and jump in. This is just more like a quick video. If you like more of these quick videos, don't forget to comment below. And if you have any suggestions for these quick videos, then yeah, just suggest it in the comments below and I'll look into it. Um, the reason I'm doing this tutorial is because I saw this in the Unity community. Unity, the community of the Unity users, that's a hard thing to say, but that people were trying to figure out how to disable these different functions in Unity. And so I figured I'd make this video just because it's a really weird process. It's a lot of things you have to play around with. And so I just thought I would show you guys a basic way to do this. And we're going to be doing this with pausing the game. This is one of the things that I saw a few times was that people were wondering um, how to pause, make it to where if you complete a level or do something like that, then you can't pause the game. And so... I was just looking through these, and so I figured I might as well make a tutorial on it because it's a cool thing. Alright, so I've got this really, really simple scene here. Basically, all I've done is I went onto the internet and I found a blueprint texture, and that's what I did for the floor, just tiled it up. But then I've also got this gate right here, which I made in like five seconds in Blender just for fun. And then I have this gate right here that I'm actually reusing the. Um, the um, the hologram material that we made, just that so I didn't have to go back in and redo it. And I'm gonna change this to local. Um, all right, so we just got that. You can see it's flickering, and I'm gonna fix that because it's annoying. Uh, negative. There, I did it. All right, so now we have this, we need to go ahead and we need to make the script for it because I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the scene. It's basically just a first person controller and you can run around and you can sprint and stuff. But then when you walk through this gate, we want this to trigger a function. So a few things you'll need for this to work is you will need for this area down here to have a collider, a box collider that is trigger is set on. Um, whoops, I left this on here. All right, and then you will also need something to control this. I'm just using this pause game, and I'm gonna actually go ahead and show you that script real quick. It's a very, very simple script. Basically, whenever you press the pause key, it just sets the time scale to zero. That's the easiest way to pause your game. And then whenever you press it again, after that, it unpauses it. So that's a cool little thing. Um, also, if you want this project, if you want all these project files, there will be a link in the description to go download the project to use that. All right, so let's just go ahead and get started with scripting this. So first of all, we need to make sure that our player and our collider that I've added, that's the other thing you need. You need a collider on your player to detect things because, well, this is annoying. I kept this on here, but actually, I don't need this anymore. Never mind. All right, so the player has this. So now we want it to where this has to be tagged as player. So what you can do is if you don't have this, you go up to tag underneath the name, um, tag player. That's all you have to do. All right, so now let's go ahead and get into the script. I'm going to call this script um, level completed. All right, I'm going to double click to open. And now all I have to do is I'm just going to delete this. And I'm going to also scale up the size of the text a little bit just so that you guys can see it better. And that's as far as I can get. All right, so the first thing we need is we need to establish our variables. And we only need two variables for this. I'm going to create a public string. And I'm going to call this um, player tag. Now I'm going to create a reference to our pause game script by saying public 
pause game pause script. Oops. All right, and that should turn blue. If it doesn't turn blue, then that means you don't have a, then you've misspelled this or whatever. This works with me. This probably won't work with you unless you have a script named pause game. So yeah, now we need to add the almighty function that I use in all of my tutorials. Um, on trigger enter. I cannot tell you how many times I use this function like every day. It is an amazing function. And so that we can detect what's inside of it, we're gonna do collider call. Basically all this function does is this allows us to detect if something is inside of a region that is on the object. So in our case, it would be on this right here. This is where the script is going to go. So it's going to detect whether something hits this or not. All right, so now that we've got that, I'm going to go and continue writing the script. I only need a few lines of code for this, so I'm going to say if col dot game object dot tag is is equal to double equal sign player tag. Whoops, I accidentally put in that player tag. I'm going to go down, and I'm going to say pause script dot can pause. I have a function. I have a variable that allows me to pause and that if this is set to true, then it can pause the game, and if it's not, it can't pause the game. And I'm just gonna set the variable equal to false, so that as soon as we hit it, we cannot do anything else. I'm gonna save this script, and I'm going to jump back into Unity, and we shouldn't have any errors. All right, I'm gonna drag the level completed script onto here, and I'm gonna set the player tag to player. Um, it is very case sensitive, so make sure that it's the proper case um, it's not like all lowercase or all uppercase. And then also for the script, I'm just going to click on this dot right here and so I'm going to select my game manager object. All right, so now I have this, I'm going to click play. Now the way that I have the script set up is anytime I hit the P key, it will pause the game. So I'm going to start running and I'm going to hold down the button and as soon as I hit P, it stops the game completely. I can't turn, I can hit all the keys that I want. It won't move. So now I'm going to hit the P key again and now it's back. So now when we run through the gate, I'm going to sprint just so it speeds up. And now I'm going to hit the P key. And now we cannot pause the game because we have gone through here. Now normally in a game like this, you would have some function where it would say like level completed. And then it would say continue on to the next level or something like that. I made, wanted to make this as simple as possible. So I just made it to where you couldn't pause it again. All right, so that's basically all there is to disabling functions in Unity. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and if you have any suggestions for tutorials whatsoever, don't forget to comment. Thanks, guys, for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.